thanks for coming back to my channel guys tonight i want to show you how i make my chicken tacos for my family so stay tuned first you would need chicken um breast i have three here nothing special about it i already had some frozen in my freezer so i took them out you're gonna need one whole onion chopped up and these are the seasonings that i use i use paprika onion powder black pepper cumin garlic powder creole seasoning um salt chipotle chili pepper and chili powder now you can get the taco seasoning packet from the store but i like to do it this way so i can control my salt intake and then this is my salsa and some green um diced chilies that i will be adding um towards the end so here i am chopping up my onion um it doesn't really matter what size you chop it up to because you'll see later i'll explain why later um but you want to just chop it up nicely get everything prepared you will see my cutting board shift and that's very dangerous you guys so one way to prevent that is just to put a piece of paper towel underneath but it has to be wet and that will prevent your sliding your the sliding of the cutting board so do that don't do what I was doing I was thinking about it but I don't know why I just didn't go ahead and change it so I'm putting my onions to the side next you'll see me dice up some chicken breast no particular size just dice it up or chop it up shall I say uh, you'll see why later um, why you don't need to make it a particular size they don't have to be uniform they don't all have to be the same size just make sure you give it a rough chop watch your fingers and set it to the side in the bowl Next, you're going to see me move all the food out of the way and sanitize. Sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. Whenever you use chicken, make sure you clean off the counter and make sure you wash your hands. Make sure you do not use anything on that cutting board after you dice that chicken on that cutting board. Make sure everything is clean. Here, I'm just heating up some oil in the pan. I'm putting my chicken in there. Um, that was extra virgin. Oh, no, no, that was just olive oil. And please excuse my lighting. I did not realize how bright this light was until you'll see when, when I change it down to the dark, darker lighting. Um, so right now, I'm just adding all my seasoning. I just eyeball it. I don't even measure it out. I just sprinkle, um, it's probably like a teaspoon of each. A teaspoon of each. That's the paprika. I went in with the Creole seasoning. Be very careful with this Creole seasoning because it does have salt and it can make your food salty. That was the cumin powder. That was probably a half a teaspoon. I put another cumin powder. Next, I'm coming in with the chipotle chili pepper. Next is the garlic powder, not salt, but the powder. Next is the chili powder, pepper, and then some salt, just a little bit of salt. Now, you're gonna see me mix this all around. Oh, that was the onion powder, I'm sorry. That was onion powder, then salt. Now you're gonna see me mix this around, get everything coated. You wanna make sure your pan is nice and hot. And then I'm gonna come in next with the onions. At this time too, you guys, I forgot at the store my bell pepper and my cilantro. So at this time, you will also add your um, diced bell peppers in and a little bit of cilantro right at this point. But I only had my onions, so that's what we were working with. Mix that all together. Get everything nicely coated with all that seasoning. 
and then I'm going to just let this cook out for a little bit. You know, let the meat start cooking, get those um, seasoning. You see, I just turned the light down. I just realized the light was so bright. So eventually, you guys, I'm going to put the lid on this and let it um, continue cooking with the lid on there. But you can see, got a nice little bubble going. Put the lid on. So, now you guys, at this point, I'm going to let this cook for about 15 minutes. So, you see, you guys, I'm letting that steam off so it won't come towards my phone. And you'll see it has a lot of juices. And you'll see how flavorful this looks. You see, you see, you have all the chicken in there. They're not perfectly diced or chopped up at the same size. And you'll see now I'm starting to go ahead and actually, if the chicken is tender enough, that I can just push that um, wood spoon through and like chop it up. So at this point is when I'm going to chop it up to the size I want it. I don't want them to be all huge dices like that, but you know, um, there's no point for me to take the time to do that in the beginning because I know it's going to be tender enough to do it now. So while I'm dicing this, chopping this up, um, I would like for you guys to go ahead and go hit that like button, subscribe so you can stay in tune with all of my videos. I'm going to have a ride ring of videos on my page from cooking to couponing, just all about lifestyle and how to make your life simple there so I'm going ahead and chop that all up and also you guys don't forget to hit that notification bell because some days I might not just post one video I might post two like a couponing video and something about cooking I love to cook and I love to coupon so if you want to um, stay posted on everything hit the notification bell too so you'll see I'm just Moving all around now, I want you to notice how much juice is in this pan. So, I got those diced green chili peppers. I drained them because there's a lot of juice in this pan. And I have the lid off now because I want some of that juice to um, cook down. I put the chili peppers in there, or green chilies, I'm sorry. The green chilies in there, I'm mixing it all around. And I'm going to continue to let this cook for an additional 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes on high so all that juice can cook down because you don't want soupy tacos i'm trying to adjust the screen here this is my first cooking video you guys um i didn't know what i was doing as far as videotaping it i knew what i was doing cooking but videotaping no and you'll see i'll keep stirring and keep chopping up bigger pieces and now i slowed it down so you guys can see how much that liquid has cooked out of the pot. It's not as soupy. So you want it to look like this. This is a good consistency, but I am gonna to continue to cook it because I still want a lot of that juice out of the pot. But right now, the chicken is just delicious. It's so flavorful. It's almost like a, the, the consistency of the juice cooks down so much. It's just, it's just delicious. You gotta try it. And you probably can hear I'm talking real nasally. I got it like a little cold starting. So for the tortillas, you guys, I heated up some olive oil in a pan there. Make sure your oil is hot. And I heat up, I cook them on each side until they start to bubble up. So they'll bubble up on one side. You can hardly see it in the video. You don't want to cook it too long because you don't want them black. And you want to flip them and cook it on the other side. This way, the outer portion of the shell is nice and crunchy, but the inner portion is still chewy and delicious. I have a family of five, so I cook probably about 10 the first go around so everybody can get at least two tacos and then I'll cook more after that and I just set them to the side on a paper towel to drain the um the oil off so I'm just showing you how a couple of them look how it 
bubbles up flip it over that's perfect Can you see how that one is just kind of puffing up you guys everybody loves these tacos from my families and friends they always are requesting me to make my chicken tacos um, in this video it doesn't I didn't have everything I usually put in the tacos because I just totally forgot if I don't go to the grocery store with a list I will forget half the things I'm supposed to get so this one is perfect you see how that's brown so you shall have some tomatoes I had lettuce and cheese you'll see that at the end um, but cilantro don't forget the cilantro because the cilantro really took it over the edge it's something about that cilantro it just amplifies the taste so you see me adding more oil in because um, every five to six tortillas you need to add a little bit more oil in because they soak up so much oil and that's why it's very important to have your pan on and your oil very hot before putting any of these tortillas in because you don't want it to be a soggy tortilla because it soaks up the oil you want it to, to flash fry it you throw it in that pan it's very hot it gets crispy turn it over crisp up a little bit but the inside is still chewy and just delicious if your oil is not hot you're just gonna have a soggy tortilla so you have to make sure your pan and oil is to the temperature you will see um, the steam or the heat coming up that's perfect so here are the tacos you guys they're crispy on the outside but the texture on the inside is still chewy these are like my favorite tacos to make is chicken tacos I hardly even make beef tacos anymore so you guys, I want to thank you for watching my video. Uh, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. But until next time, take care.